If you find yourself in front court when playing doubles in badminton, there are some easy tips you can follow so that you can cover your part of the court effectively. Hi, I'm Coach Kenny Asuncion and I've been a professional badminton coach for many years. If you're new here, do consider subscribing to catch more videos on how to improve your game. When playing doubles, it is very likely that you will find yourself in the front court at some point. In this video, I'm going to show you some do's and don'ts if you want to perform well in this part of court, so that you and your partner can take the offensive in a position of strength and win that point. So let me start out by saying that the racket should be up almost at all times. The fact that you are in front means that you and your partner is probably in an offensive mode. So you need to keep your racket up all the time and as high as the net. Nothing too high. If you go too high, shuttles will go past you. So you keep your racket as high as the net level. Now, I stress this enough because badminton is such a fast game, okay? Putting down your racket and trying to go up, no matter how quick you are, you are delayed by a few seconds. So normally, you'd see the front player, especially in international competitions, with their racket ready, ready to pounce, ready to attack their opponents. So they move really quick, really quick, trying to get all shuttles from a higher level so that their shots could be steeper and could be stronger. So keep your racket up. Another common mistake for the front player is standing in the middle all the time, not moving regardless of where the shuttle is or where your partner is. You have to go where the shuttle is moving to. Not necessarily moving to that side, but at least you are getting ready with a half step or one step waiting for that straight faster shot so if your partner from the back is attacking here you can go one step or half step waiting for the straight and to intercept that shot now of course this is all a case-to-case -case basis if you know that your opponent always loves to do a cross court then there's no point in following the straight instead you can opt for waiting for the cross. So it's all about being observant, checking how your partner plays, what type of um, shuttles they want to return, but make sure that you are not static and staying here in the middle all the time. You have to move. Also, if you're standing only here in the middle, then it's harder to push off and move for the next shot when it comes. So it's, it's good to be slightly moving or shifting the weight towards to where you're anticipating the shot. Now, if your, you and your partner's shots are very down the line, it could be safe to move closer to that area. And then your partner will come a bit closer to cover, especially when you're attacking. A common mistake is overly jumping. Like every single shot, every single shot you keep jumping and trying to intercept you only jump if you feel it's necessary if you honestly feel that there's a way that you can intercept the shot that is going between you and your partner so jump only if you feel you can but stop jumping the whole time because you also need to conserve your energy you want to finish th that two out of three match so you better know when to jump so that you will be ready for the next one also if you keep jumping and suddenly the shot comes to you you can be late so it's better to anticipate moving and staying grounded on the floor as opposed to jumping the whole time another common mistake is thinking that the position for the front player is only limited to the service line no you will sometimes see the player move a little forward or move a little back now when do you do that so if your partner is coming close to you and hitting a shot very close to you i would rather you go slightly forward simply because you're allowing your partner to move freely and attack and not hit you imagine if he was hitting here 
and I was here. He could hit me. Okay, so you try to avoid that and you go closer to the front. As he is coming closer, I am also moving closer to the net. However, if your partner is attacking from the baseline, okay, then you could wait here so that you can help your partner cover the ones here where the shots are kind of in between, not really at the back, but not really in front. So you can stay here. This is the front where you will be positioning yourself if your partner is on the baseline. Otherwise, the general rule is of course to be on the service line. Okay? So knowing when to slightly move forward and knowing when to slightly move back. So this is the area of the front player. A common mistake is also a bad serve. Now, let's be very clear about that. Service is really, really important. So, you must make sure that as, as a person who guards the front, that you do a good serve that will go over the net and yet stay low. It's not only for you, but it is also for your partner and for you guys to sort out how to move around. So, a good serve is very, very important. So always look at the position of your opponent to know where to serve. Another common mistake is too much cross court. Okay? Sometimes you've already caught your opponents off guard. But because you love to do cross court shots, it kind of slows down the pace as opposed to immediately putting a straight shot going over the net. Of course, again, it's you know, you're playing it by watching how your opponents are. And just like in any game, too much of anything that doesn't get you points is useless. So unless those cross courts have been getting you points, then fine, you can use it. But if not, you have to have variety. Use some cross, use some straight. Variety will always be the best because sometimes your opponent starts adjusting to your gameplay. And too much cross slows down the pace, lets your opponent get back to, on their feet even if you know, you've slightly kind of jumbled them around. So again, not too much cross court, more variety. As a front player, when it's your opponent that's hitting, stop looking back. The reason why you have to stop looking back is one, you could get hit in the face, which is really, really painful. Two, if you look back, there's a few seconds before you get back to looking forward and sometimes the shots come in too, so fast that you become a few seconds late. So again, it's all about speed, it's all about being quick, being fast in a certain area. So you have to avoid looking back at your, your partner when they are hitting. Okay? Look at your opponent instead. By looking at your opponent, you know what shot your partner is doing. You will see it. You will see the angle of your partner's shot. Another common mistake is having those in-between shots. As a front player, it's alright for you to take those in-between shots, but make it clear and move fast. If you move slightly slow, your partner might think that you're not going for it. So if you really want to go for it, immediately shout, mine, go for it. That's fine. If, or if you've anticipated that your opponent will be gi giving it to a midcourt, you want to wait for it, whether it's low, whether it's high, go for it, that's fine. Now, if you want your partner to hit it, then just shout yours or shout your partner's name, okay? And allow them to hit. Now, if they're coming close, then as I've mentioned, move a little forward, okay? So you don't get hit as well. To play doubles well, you and your partner must rotate properly so that you can easily cover the entire court. The video on your screen will show you how to do this so you can achieve that perfect partnership. Catch my next video so you can level up your game and become a smashing success.